happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have the RadioWow R108. This is an AM, FM, long wave, short wave, air band portable radio. I'm going to do a daytime medium wave band scan. We'll go over features of the radio, we'll do a size comparison, then we'll start cruising the daytime band. So let's check out the Radio Wow. You can buy these usually for 50 bucks off Amazon. I'll put links below. Uh, really cool radio. Uh, sometimes it's on sale. I've seen it go as cheap as 40, so not a bad, bad bargain. And you can get this in black too, a different company label on there, but uh, otherwise same radio. Uh, so we'll go over features here. Uh, on the left hand side, we have an antenna input for FM and shortwave. It's where you can plug in like one of those extension wires, run it outside for 22 feet, give you a little extra boost in signal, big difference. Here we have a headphone jack so you can listen to FM stereo broadcast, nice. The front, radio wow. The speaker, uh, I'm not sure that size couple inch speaker, but it has a lot of bass. Uh, this one definitely does not sound tinny and you'll get to see that or hear that. Um, this is amazing. R108, 500 memories, yeah, so not bad. 500 presets. Over here we have a nice LCD display. Reminds me of Texan. It has a similar setup. We have our 24-hour clock, battery status, we've got timer, it's got alarm, wake to radio, wake to buzzer. We have different things on the display here, displaying the alarm time. Hit this button here. You can see it shows the temperature too. And it has this white uh, backlit uh, LCD. So there you go. And then when the radio is on, of course it does extra things. Down here we have a numeric keypad for direct entry of frequencies, so it gets you on station really quick. Um, if you look there, you'll see some red writing. Secondary functions, so when the radio is off, you can switch the medium wave from 9K to 10K. Nice. You can turn long wave on or off, and you can set uh, FM bands. So you got four bands you can pick from, which is nice. Frequency, you hit this button, then enter the desired frequency. Here we have a uh, beep. Turn the beep on and off. I don't like the beep. <laughs> it's a pain. Uh, band select switch, pretty much simple there. You cycle through all the bands. And then it says ATS, auto tuning system, where it automatically uh, searches and saves the stations. Here we have VM and VF. That's view memory and view frequency. Frequency mode is usually used most of the time. Memory mode is really nice, so you can cr scroll through presets you've found. Here we have a memory button for adding memory to the radio. Of course, delete function, delete memories. Down here is a really popular button, AM bandwidth. There's a lot of bandwidth control on medium wave, so you can get really cool uh, distance stations by lowering it down to say one kilohertz, or get some nice sounding music on six or four kilohertz. If you look there, you can toggle FM stereo on or off. Power button with sleep function. This thing has a lot of uh, features for the money. I'll get that lock button and uh, display uh, function that you saw there. Here we have time. I hit this button here. I uh, know I'll make take you to the time when you're on the radio, which is nice. And of course, to set the clock. That does mess up my color balance a little bit. Um, set the alarm. Pretty alarm uh, mode. It's pretty nice. You turn on the alarm there. You can see a little icon, bell icon. So there you go. You can see, change it from radio to the beeper. Up and down tuning controls, really nice to browse your presets and of course to browse the band. These are really nice, seeking forward and seeking down. I like those two keys. Use them quite a bit when you're doing the browse feature. Uh, right inside the radio, we have uh, DC input, five volts, some micro USB, volume control, analog, which is nice. Tuning knob is indented, kind of like a sky wave. And you have the push button where you can have squelch for the air band and step tuning. Uh, you can toggle the how fast and slow you want to go with the step tuning. Very nice to have. Uh, some radios like Texans don't have that. I'm glad that this does have it. Top of the radio, we have an antenna, which is equal in length to the Skywave, which is nice. So it's an identical antenna, actually. On the back here, it says Radio Wow. Gives our frequency information. Kick out stand here, which is really nice. 
There's our airband, shortwave full coverage, which is great. Um, some of the Texan radios, like, I don't know, I have one handy over here. Here's a uh, PL380. Maybe we'll leave it out for size comparison. It's not full coverage. It stops at 2190. Yeah, there you go, 23 to 2195. So you do get the full shortwave coverage with the radio aisle, which is nice. Um, there's your kickout stand. And, of course, behind here is the BL5C battery. Uh, a lot of people don't like this setup. It's okay. Uh, they do balloon over time. I found to keep it uh, nice and not have that happen is by uh, having the battery all, always around half charge when you're storing it. That way it won't do that. Um, so I've had BL5Cs last quite a long time. Snap that back in place. And at the bottom of the radio is a reset button in case it locks up. Now I never had to use that, so that's good. Let's do a little size comparison and start cruising the band. So I'm going to bring this up. Uh, you saw the PL380. Uh, it's a nice little shortwave radio. A lot of people like it. Interesting that the speaker is bigger, but this sounds better. You're going to hear that again. Um, and if you want, you can search my channel, Totterbert PL380, and you can hear what this sounds like. That gives you an idea for the 380. We have CC Pocket. Always bring that out. I have CC Skywave. Now, a lot of people call the radio out kind of a copy of the Skywave. It pretty much is, except it does uh, not have the weather alert or, of course, no weather bands. Uh, but the speaker does sound better than this. But this runs on AA batteries. A lot of people like these standard batteries. I do too. Um, but some people don't like the tinniness of that. So just, you know, a little give and take. And of course, this one here, the Skywave, I don't think it's full coverage either. It goes to 26100. So there you go. All right. Oh, and last but not least, Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can spin it like no one can. He's Iron Man. Yeah, deck of cards, you get the idea. It's a new face. All right. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I bought a second deck. <laughs> love my Iron Man cards. So let's go ahead and turn us on. And hear what we hear on the band. So, kicking it on. Shows the medium wave, kilohertz. Uh, we have voice. You can go to music by pressing four. Found that out by just messing around. It's not in the uh, directions. Okay, you can see everything lit up there. We're going to go to the uh, display status here where it has signal noise ratio. That way you can see how good the signal's coming in. Here's our bandwidth control. We're going to go to three. And to get, I mean, they didn't just lose. Our first station is. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. I mean, was it's 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. And before you, have, before you stand, I, what I really hated about that game is you think your family and friends love you, but they're too cool for school. So they had no advantage, no energy. All the people in there were fast. Chicago, just want to keep you abreast of developments in Springfield as the selection for... Here's 560, the answer, W-I-N-D, Chicago. The first vote, Speaker Mike Madigan has failed to garner enough... 7, 1941... November 22nd, 1963, April 4th, 1968, and September 11th, 2001. Okay, so 580, this is uh, W-I-L-L, -L, Urbana, Illinois. Picking up a little noise. Now I know there was a... You can switch the bands, and I think... Just gonna double check to make sure that the because uh, this is the original model it had like glitch with the medium wave. Okay, still getting a little bit of noise on the distant stations, but we have a Turk loop here. I'm gonna see if this can bring it in the game. So there you go, yeah, 150 miles away, nice. Let's keep tuning. Yeah, I can't remember if it was uh, cycling the bandwidth or turning the radio on and off. Let me go ahead and turn it off, turn it back on. 
Okay, that's what you gotta do to get the better game. You saw the different numbers there. Okay. Uh, this is WKZO. Kalamazoo, Michigan, 140 miles away. Here's WMT Cedar Rapids, Iowa, 175 miles away. I don't know if they're a Super Bowl contender, but one thing is clear. This team sure is... Stephen Carroll. As you can hear, it sounds really good. <laughs> Uh, 620 WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Good morning, Wisconsin. Well, I didn't turn my mic on there. It was so relaxed. It was a very relaxing break. Okay, we got Hispanic music on 640 WMFN, Piatone, Illinois. The offense, the, the, the first two dominoes that have to fall are Mitch Trubisky and Allen Robinson. You know, and, and right now the odds Here's 670 to score to BSCR, Chicago, Illinois. You know, there's other ways to approach those two issues, um, but, but, but they're the two big ones. And until we know what's happening with those two guys, it, it's impossible to speculate what else they can do offensively this offseason. I'll tell you the one that I don't see slow, you can do one killer. But, you know, people at Anthony Miller released today or tomorrow. Anthony Miller, I suspect, Stop will be back. He's fast. going to be in the final year. Cool. I'm picking up a faint signal on 690. That's interesting. Okay, keep going. Picking up something on 700 here. This would be good. Now, uh, time. No, if I told you, probably didn't. <laughs> okay, so there's the time. 11.09 a.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. We are about uh, five hours after sun sunrise, and we're about five and a half hours to sunset. Give you an idea. Let's see if we can pick up uh, Cincinnati, WLW. Here a little bit. He's in the loop. Just picking him up very faintly. That's 300 miles away, Cincinnati, Ohio. Very cool. You know, there's, you know, every family that has teens has adults that are there, too. And adults are struggling, you know. I, I sit and I work at home. I work from home four or five days a week, and uh, I get bored also. And we know... Your 720 WGN Chicago. System, and if that family system isn't functioning well, the parent... That's Toronto. Sometimes uh, if I start too early, I'll pick them up, but I'm not picking them up now. De las cosas que esos hombres iban a hacer en algún momento. 750 WNDZ, Portage, Indiana. Maravillosas y cosas grandes. Van a cambiar corazones, cambiar multitudes, a cambiar mentes. Y esto Dios, como dice la primera carta a los Corintios, que Dios es Dios busca de lo cosa más bajo para engrandecer y para confundir también a personas grandes inteligentes. So a little bit of electrical noise might be from my volume. It must be digital. I thought it was analog. Interesting. Dios elige a sus hijos con un propósito. Okay, we're just picking up WJR Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles away. Resulted in their decision to ban him. Here's tweet number one. Are you ready or are you listening? 
the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. The 75 million great American patriots who voted for me. Opportunities for students to become informed citizens grounded in science. Investigators trying to determine the... K-780 WBBM Chicago. It sent a 60-year-old man to the hospital. Fire crews... Go a little quicker here. Covered a lot in this radio. Republicans who are, want to put Tom Cotton in the White House. And the fact that Here's WCPT, Willow Springs, Illinois. Not the legitimate winner is now to you because... Some music there is from WNOV, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 52 miles away, directly north, and uh, it's a 250-watt station. Not bad. Just picking up a hint of WKAR, East Lansing, Michigan. We could bring the loop up, see if we can get this one to come in. So I think 195 miles. Also, the ticking, you can hear what the display signal is ratio. If you don't like that, just turn that off. Very nice. That constitutes an incitement to violence. That Here's 890 WLS, Chicago, Illinois. We can't allow this guy to continue on our platform. High pitch wine coming from the camera. Now, as Mr. Ring writes here in his. Nine ten is a. Uh, I think this is WFDF, Detroit, Michigan. Think of the town. Kirk Cousins had the choice of team. Peyton Manning and Denver. The Big Badger, WOKY, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Forty-three-year-old break. Deshaun Watson, the Colts, the Bears. There's always it is more than a reciter, a more than just saying. WBKM, Sandwich, Illinois. And, and I think with the traditional formula Relevant radio offering, Which was uh, that we offer God all our prayer Music on 940 WFAW for Atkinson, Wisconsin Coming in good uh, When will I say my rosary? That kind of thing uh, what are the, the 950 WNTD, 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 Chicago the, the sufferings or the challenges that I this light washes out the screen. To ask God to, to address. Um, but I believe each Apple ID requires a unique email address associated. Yeah, a little buzzing is the volume. Me adjusting it. 970. Uh, I don't know if you guys can pick that up. W H A, uh, Madison, Wisconsin. Um, yeah, coming nice and clear. Although you can do sharing with a family plan, but I, I have a feeling that's not the case um, in this. I love Bama and the points in this game, which is eight and a half right now. FanDuel Paradise Sportsbook is 1000 WMVP one Chicago, ESPN Sports. WNVR, kind of holding at an angle so you can see the screen. Uh, Vernon Hills, Illinois. Music there is WLIP, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Something tells me it's all happened at the same. Sounds really good. Music there is 1060, WHFB, Benton Harbor, Michigan, about 100 miles away. For a month supply. And right now, get your first online doctor's visit totally free. 1070 WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin. That's right, free. Zero copay. 
WNWI Oakland, Illinois. Uh, WMBI, Chicago, Illinois. Your armed protests have already begun proliferating on and off Twitter. Here's WISN, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, at 1130. Wow. Somehow, according to Twitter, this is linked to Trump. Social media platforms. Share this with your friend and make sure you subscribe to Facebook and to YouTube and our other platforms. Okay, here's WYLL, Hope for Your Life, Christian Radio, Chicago. You can listen to AM 1160 online at 1160hope.com and on the AM 1160 mobile app, also on your Alexa powered. Let's see if the squirrel makes an appearance. Not available in all states. Hi, I'm Albert Pujols. Nope, you won't. <laughs> Only put them out when music's playing. This is the squirrel, w WSQR, Sycamore, Illinois. They usually have cool music playing, classic oldies. In this nightmare of violence, fraud. Por ahí, dentro de la postemporada, la verdad, te digo, va a ser... 1200 WRTO, Chicago. Yeah, hear that? Sábado hay dos partidos, los Packers se enfrentan... So it's digital control volume. That's why you hear that little clicking sound as you're going up and down. It's kind of interesting. Uh, so 1200 WRTO, Chicago. Also, for those who uh, don't know much about AM or medium wave, there are people who watch my channel that don't understand uh, why the antenna is not raised. <laughs> uh, so when a radio, portable radio, you have two antennas, typically, your external antenna for FM and shortwave and airband. The internal antenna, there's a ferrite bar, coil wrapped, and that's for your medium wave and long wave reception, uh, where the wavelengths are very long. Uh, you know, nice long waves instead of short waves. And so it picks up better with this internal antenna. And it's horizontally uh, set in here like this. And you see me turning the radio. And you want that horizontal edge to face the station you're trying to get. So when you point it to that station, you'll get a better signal. So there you go, a little primer. I say that every time in my medium wave scans, so those people know that uh, what I'm doing. This is a good beginner radio too. Yeah. I'd recommend it. Uh, 1220 WKRS, uh, Waukegan, Illinois. Here's WCLO, Janesville, Wisconsin. Genetically modified organism, correct. And that's a cigarette. Here's WSBC Chicago. A little bit of Metallica there, I think, huh? Right? <laughs> 1250 to be SSP, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's awesome. Former Packer and Badger running back Gary Ellerson. So at night, and during a day on faint signals, this bandwidth comes in handy. Two kilohertz, sometimes one, but two is pretty good. This is 1280 WBIG, Aurora, Illinois. Or maybe you want to head down the boxes on Wolf Road. Boxes on Wolf Road. It sounds like it has gas. <laughs> it's fun. Love this little radio. Music there is the Fonz, WZTI, Greenfield, Wisconsin. Here's WRDZ, LaGrange, Illinois, on 1300. Silver platter to the media. They get to run with impeachment to fill time. WIBA, Madison, Wisconsin. Better than talking about what has outraged millions.
Just picking up a garbled signal of WNTA Rockford, Illinois. WLBK Trading Post, 2410, Sycamore Road, Sweet C, DeKalb, Illinois, 60115. There you go, WLBK, DeKalb, Illinois. And now the Trading Post on WLBK. Trading Post. <laughs> Get your stuff on the radio. Love it. <laughs> Okay, got music there, WBEL, WBEL, South Beloit, Illinois. Caspel music here, WGRB, Chicago, Illinois, 1390. Going fairly quick. Music on WRJN, Racine, Wisconsin. Here's some more shopping. <laughs> 1410, WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. Kind of flare up your, uh, your classic burger recipe. We've got a couple more here. Let's go ahead and talk about another one. Let's see. This one. You know, the netos. It's got the reverb going. Uh, w E E F, Deerfield, Illinois. W R O K, Rockford, Illinois. Getting older, you should order the. North of Madison. Choose from 47 trails open for skiing and snowboarding. Whether it's beginner. Here we are, Iron Country, WGEZ, Beloit, Wisconsin. For every level skier in your family. We've got some heavy metal on WPJX, Zion, Illinois, coming in good. <laughs> Rebel Radio, I think. Music on 1520, WLUV, Loves Park, Illinois. How that process works, and I'm far from a doctor. I need to get Dr. Chow on 1530, WCKG, Elmhurst, Illinois. Mixing stations, uh, this one I think stronger is WGLB, Port Washington, Wisconsin. Country music on 1570. I have my nighttime list, I believe it's on there. Uh, this is WFRL, Freeport, Illinois, about 60 miles away, 5,000 watts. Country music. Nice. A lot of music. It's pretty good to hear. At WTTN, Watertown, Wisconsin, on 1580. WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. Sometimes you can pick up CHHA Toronto during the day. 1610. Expect delays. For more information, please visit LakeCountyPassage.com. Here's Lake County's uh, traffic advisory radio. You are listening to WTBR 256. This is the Lake County Passage Highway Travel Advisory Radio, operating on 1620 kHz AM. There you go. If you're just joining us, uh, don't forget you can hear the uh, hear our podcast of the entire program. WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin, uh, another Catholic station. Go to the Interlife page, and uh, you can download today. 
It was a cause for concern earlier, but now I think he... WOZN, Madison, Wisconsin. ...that he had in the NFL. You know, the other thing about this that we haven't really gotten into yet <laughs> is... Little sound effects. That's with the volume and the LED the going off. ...from last year are kind of built, right? But otherwise, you, you leave it, it's fine. Like was talking about, uh, earlier. And last station? It can wrap it up. Majority to convict him on it. Right. 1690 WBON. To make sure that he can't run again for office. All right. I think people aren't taking that into consideration. But secondly, she mentioned she thought it was not necessarily a good idea. All right, cool. We're done. Yeah, so it's a fun little radio. Um, For the money, is it worth it? Yeah, it really is. Uh, you get this for 40, 42 bucks. Um, that's the price you want to pay. 50 is a little steep, 50, 52 bucks. Um, definitely the $42 margin is the way to go. I'd recommend it as a starter radio for that price range because you got to buy extras of these BL5Cs. They don't last as long as, say, two and a loop batteries, you know, double A's. Um, and the capacity is only like, what, uh, 1,000 or 1,200 the most. Uh, so, yeah, you're not going to get super long run times. But uh, for everyday around the house use or, you know, just a daily portable and you're charging it every night, uh, you shouldn't have any issues. Uh, for running out of juice. Just a cool little radio. I always have it on my desk. Uh, it's always running uh, with the clock, and it, it runs quite a long time, quite about a month or two before I have to charge it uh, for the clock, so that's nice. So there you go. The Radio Wow gets a big thumbs up from Totterbird. Hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. Um, haven't done one in a while, so if it was due, uh, definitely subscribe at the bell icon if you like the brand. You want to see more shortwave reviews and band scans definitely and three comment below what you think about the r108 during the day do you find the am is decent I, I love the audio just can't get enough of that audio once you get the volume set and your tune set you don't have to worry about those little noises you heard it comes in nice and clear all right guys take care and we'll see you in my next video